the the impact of a of HBC has been in being able to to bring together uh, many of the disparate services that uh, the Australian government has invested in as part of its ENCRIS facilities. So in the past we had uh, in individual investments in um, storage and cloud computing and uh, within the HPC centres, within Palsy and NCI, we've been able to bring these together into a, a comprehensive integrated environment for researchers, uh, making it a researcher focused has probably been one of the, the biggest impacts. Through having that researcher focus um, and being driven by researcher needs, we've been able to enable um, a myriad of um, positive outcomes for the country uh, through uh, advanced scientific studies, um, improvements in uh, health and medicine, and to be able to inform government policy uh, about uh, land use and, um, and improvements in uh, our general uh, forecasting of weather and things like that. The challenge going forward into the future for HPC is uh, the integration of services between not just high performance compute uh, but also the integration of the Internet of Things, uh, the large data sets and compute analysis. It's all about building the new workflows that are required by scientists from an end to end. So starting from an additional idea, a researcher may develop a new model, go onto a HPC uh, simulation have a large amount of data that then needs to be analysed uh, through uh, a cloud environment and then publishing that data so it becomes available and making it findable, accessible, interoperable and uh, reusable, um, abiding by the fair principles and basically then contributing that back to the community. There are already a number of initiatives that are happening. Um, so in my talk, I mentioned about the, uh, the Copernicus data uh, and the Copernicus hub, the sharing between the Australian government and the EU, um, and also access to the central data, which uh, we're using in the region to determine land use, um, water, and to assist with planning for, for emergencies. The, uh, the good news is that um, Palsy has signed a, an MOU with, with Price uh, just recently, and we're hoping that we can leverage that as a nation to, to work closer with, uh, with Price. Uh, we're very keen to, to look at ways that we can engage and develop our, our researchers and our students in giving them the expertise to, to undertake um, groundbreaking research so that they, they know how to use HPC, they know how to use high performance data how to use machine learning, artificial intelligence and these things.